Well, good evening, everybody. Uh, today is a bit of a surprise live because I didn't realize that there were only four days left to order the Bryn Walker if you need the Bryn Walker by mid-February. So I thought I better get on here really quickly and let you know if you're interested in, like if you're going somewhere at the beginning of March. Hi, Damien. Um, if you're going somewhere at the beginning of March, then you're gonna wanna place that order right away which means I'd need it like in the next day or two. There is a second order date if you don't need it until the mid of, sorry, midway through March. But if you're somebody who needs the Bryn Walker, hi everybody, thanks for joining. Um, if you need the Bryn Walker by mid-February, we have just a few days left to order. But if you're okay with getting your Bryn Walker um, mid-March, then we still have a month. So I just wanted to give you some information about the Bryn Walker. We did our first pre-orders last year and it was a real hit. And, and I understand why, because there are so many great colors and stores can only stock so many of the colors. So if there's a color that you really love, it makes it just makes sense to pre-order it. Hi, Roberta. Hi, oh look, Sandy, you're there. Cynthia's there, nice to see you guys. Um, so yeah, I wanted to show, that was upside down. So these are the colors right here that are available for the Bryn Walker pre-order. And I took pictures of them and put them on the website. I took the pictures outside. Hey, Mira. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a live after this live with Shefali and Mira. We're going to be starting a new segment called uh, Play By Your Own Rules. And we're going to be featuring different customers. I will tell you more about that. That's going to be starting at 830. So these are the colors that are available. And I would say right now they're showing up really true uh, on the website. So I'm going to describe each color to you so that you can kind of get a sense of what it's like. I'm also going to be leaving this card at the store. So if you're somebody who lives in Hamilton and wants to come in and have a look at this to see the colors, absolutely. Go right ahead. This will be available. For those of you who are out of town, these are what the colors are. So this one is called Cream. It really doesn't have any yellow in it. It's really just a white that's not completely stark. This color here is beautiful. It's called Daylily, and it is a, an antique rose that doesn't have a lot of gray in it. So it's, it's a bit more crisp, it's a bit more icy, uh, and it's definitely pale. So it's a, ultimately, it's a pale pink. This one here is highlighter yellow. Uh, it is a very bright, bright color. It is called Yarrow, and it is bright. Okay, the next one is called Saltwater. This is a really soft, icy blue with green undertones. So it kind of looks like if you look inside a swimming pool that kind of is reflecting the sky, you can see the blue, but you can also see the green. That's what that is. And again, it's a really light, light pale color. That one's called Saltwater. This one here is called Lesh, as in, I think, Dolce de Lesh. And it's to me that looks like a vanilla it's a cream with no yellow in it with just a tiny tiny hint of brown this next one here is zinnia so zinnia is a coral color but it is also in the neon family so zinnia is um i want to say it's somewhere between a highlighter pink and a highlighter orange leaning towards a highlighter orange it is a very vivid color so it's a coral but it's a vivid coral and it's called zinnia Oleo is a, it's a chartreuse. It's a green with a little bit of brown in it. Um, it. It's a great color, actually. I feel like it's something, if you like chartreuse, that's a really great chartreuse. I think it's actually a little brighter in person than it's showing up on camera. I think that's probably closer to what it looks like. This color here is called Isola, and it's a dark teal. And now I know... For you guys, it probably looks more blue, but you can compare it. These are really the three, actually, these are the four blues that they have this year. So this one is that one I was telling you that looks like, it's called salt water. This one is the teal, it's called Isola. This one is called Tempest, and it's an indigo blue. So it has purpley undertones, and this one is ultramarine. So those are the blues. This is the teal, so that's the one that I was just talking about. I really love this color and I feel like you guys would love it too. It seems to be a color that uh, a lot of our customers are drawn to. Okay, this next one is called Heron. So Heron is really hard to describe. It, I mean, generically it's a gray, 
but I want to say it's more like a taupe. If you are somebody who knows anything about paint colors, there is a paint color, Benjamin Moore, that's really popular. They call it grayish. It's a grayish color. And it's, um, it's called Revere Pewter. That's what this color is. It's a grayish. It's somewhere between a gray and a beige. And it's called Heron. This next one here, it's actually really pretty. It's a magenta. It's called Nemesia. And except it's not a dark magenta, it's a lighter magenta leaning towards pink. This next one here is called Grayling. And I, I was thinking the closest description for that Grayling, which is this one, um, is that it's a dark pewter. This next one here I've already mentioned to you, it's called Tempest. It's like a pair of blue jeans, a really dark wash of blue jeans with no black in it. Okay, this next color here is called Elk. And I would just say that's a muted brown, um, kind of like coffee with a drop of cream in it. It's, it's quite dark. It does have a, a white undertone in there, uh, but it's brown. Okay, this next one here is called Aster, and I had to look it up. Um, Aster is not a lilac color. It is a lavender color. So it has kind of grayed undertones in the purple. It's... It's actually the color, if you were to pick a sprig of lavender and look at the darkest part of that sprig that you just, purple, that you just picked, that darkest purple is the color of this. This next one here is called Flight. Now, they didn't put Flight in the same row as the blues. It's a gray, but to me, that has blue undertones. So it's kind of like a steel, icy gray. It's not a brown gray. It's a blue gray. Uh, this next one is really bright. Again, this is, is this color is not for the faint-hearted. It is a bright cobalt blue. So you'll see that there's a bit of a pattern here in what they offered for this year. You have the bright yellow, the bright coral orange, and the bright blue. They're really vivid. Uh, great colors, but they're not understated, those three colors. Uh, this next one here... Okay, so I'm going to need some help with this color. I have been trying to come up with a description of what that color looks like. So they call it Mill Pond, and that doesn't help at all. So it's somewhere between a green and a blue. It looks like murky blue water um, with green and mud. Uh, I think it's just what it's going to end up being is a real neutral, that you could wear it as gray, you could wear it as blue, you could wear it as khaki, like it'll just pick up all the different tones. Um, but I don't know what color you would call it. Like it, it definitely has green in it. It definitely has blue in it. Definitely has brown in it. So that one is Mill Pond. It'll be interesting to see what that one comes out as. Okay, the next one is called Vervain. It is just a true purple. And I looked up the difference between purple and violet. It is not a violet, it's a purple. And then the last color here is called Rambutan. And the way I described it on the website was to say that this is like the color of chili peppers. Um, like it's kind of like a deep red. There's some rust orange in it. It's not like a blue red, it's an orangey red, but it's a deep orangey red. Um, so almost like an orange with blue undertones. I, I don't know how to describe it. It is not really, it's not a vivid red. Uh, it's not a deep red. It's not a blood red. It's not a cranberry red. It's a chili pepper red. So hopefully that helps you with that. And then the last two colors, they don't actually even give you a swatch for it, is black and white. So that's a description of what all the colors look like. And then what I did is I grabbed my pieces out of my closet so I could try them on and show them on, show them to you. The only style that I don't have is called uh, the free and E dress, the P H R Y N E dress. And that's because it sold out so quickly last year that I didn't even get a chance to grab one for myself. So if you're somebody who tried on the free and E dress last year and uh, loved it and wished that we had it in other colors, now's your time to order one. Um, if, you didn't try it on and you don't want to take a chance with it, then um, I totally get that. I would say you would go down two sizes in the free any dress if you decide to go with it. But if you don't decide to place a pre-order, I am going to be ordering some from the store in a variety of colors. It's just, it'll probably be only one of each size though. So they're going to go quickly. Um, okay, 
So that's part one, the colors. Part two is the shapes. So what you can expect to find if you were to place a pre-order. So what I'm wearing right now is one of our cotton tunics, which as you guys know, are being discontinued. So if you want one, now's the time to grab one. And let me take this off. And then I'm gonna try on some of these pieces for you. So here we go. I hope this helps. Um, so the sizing is kind of all over the place, to be fair. So we're gonna start with the Huxley tank. Nope, we're gonna start, I didn't, I didn't iron these guys. These, I just moved into a new house. And so these were all packed up. And then I took them out of the boxes and I hung them. And then because I did that in the fall, I haven't really worn my summer linens. So I'm gonna just ask you all to pretend that you don't see the wrinkles. Uh, they do fall out. It's a really good quality linen. So what I find happens with the Bryn Walker is even if you forget to iron it, once you've worn it for about 10 or 15 minutes, these just start to drop right out. Um, and you guys have probably heard me talk about the Bryn Walker linen before, that um, it's such high quality linen. Actually, I was wearing my Casbah pants at, my purple ones, um, at Thanksgiving, and I was wearing them at a cottage that we had rented, and one of the side pockets got caught on a cupboard door, and it ripped. Um, and the quality is so good on that linen that nothing, nothing ripped but the stitching. So even though it got pulled really hard, the base fabric is still, the sa is still in perfect condition and the pocket is in perfect condition. It's just some of the stitching came out. And I think that with any other brand, it would have ripped the fabric. So um, Bryn Walker is amazing. It's the kind of linen that people invest in and it's the kind of linen that you often see at um, secondhand stores because you just can't wear it out. It just lasts and lasts and lasts and lasts and lasts. So you end up making money on it when you decide to sell it, if by any chance you outgrow it. So I haven't tried this one on in a long time. This is the Fran top. It's one of their best sellers. I will not be carrying the Fran top in store. Um, this is a size small. Now, generally I take a size large or an extra large, but Bryn Walker is always cut really generously. So this is a size small in the Bryn Walker Fran top. And like, it's still generous, right? You can see that there's a ton of room in there. So just to describe what the Fran top is like, the Fran top has a pleat, I think. I can't tell. Pretty sure it has a pleat here in the back. Yeah, it has a pleat in the back. It's, uh, the back panel is slightly lower and then it curves up. The front panel lands, I would say, just below the tummy. It's quite wide and um, A-line, I guess, through here. So if you have a bigger tummy, there's lots of room in there for your tummy. It kind of just floats around you. Um, I'm a 38C right now in the bust. So I feel like there is even still lots of room if I, was big, if I were bigger in the bust. Um, so this is a the Fran top in a small. This is a small, and I usually wear a large, just to give you a sense of sizing. The measurements are on the website for every color. Um, this color is not available because this one is probably about six seasons old, and the only colors they repeat every year are the black and the white. So this is the Fran top. It's, it's one of their best sellers. It's just such a, a great top. Okay, the next one I'm gonna show you is another top, and it's called the Huxley Tank. Um, I am not getting the Huxley Tank in the store in linen. I had the Huxley Tank last year, and um, this year, because MetaMade is out of business, I've decided that I'm gonna go with their bam the Bryn Walker's Bamboo line, and I'm going to get the Ella Pants and the Huxley Tank so that you can have a top and bottom set in the bamboo span it's uh, organic bamboo cotton spandex and um so if you want the huxley tank in linen you're definitely going to have to pre-order it because i won't be getting any in so this is I, again this one is several seasons old and this is an extra small and this is another piece that i have not tried on in years so let's see if it fits um, and once again normally i'm a large or an extra large so this should show you how generously this brand is cut. And I would say that I am probably an extra small right now in this top, um, but it's snug. Like I could wear a small and, and I think that would be better. 
Um, but what's nice about it is it's quite wide through here. So it'll definitely hard, hide your bra straps. Um, quite high through here as well, so that you don't get gaping. Oh, hang on one second. Oh, I thought I heard somebody knocking, but nobody was knocking. Um, so yeah, so you can hide your bra straps. You don't see bra very much under here. And um, it has the same kind of line across the bottom as the Fram top. So it's a little bit lower. It covers your bum in the back. It has like a panel that's sewn in here, which is what gives it the extra space. And then it's A-line and it floats around your tummy area. So there's lots of room for hips and tummy in here. As you wash the Huxley tank, it gets softer and softer and starts to fall a little bit flatter. When you first buy your Huxley tank, some customers have said that it kind of poofs out, that it's got a little bit too much um, body to it. And, and so it ends up sitting out here a little, further than you actually sit out. But what I found is over time, this again, it just gets softer and softer and you get more of a drape and less, less tenting. So this is the Huxley tank. I'm wearing this that I'm wearing right now is an extra small. I would say that I would be more comfortable in a small, just to let you know. And once again, we will not be getting the Huxley tank in linen in store this year. Okay, the next one is the what do I have here? Okay, I'm going to show you the Angelita dress. So the Angelita dress, again, I am not going to be carrying this one in store. So if you're a fan of the Angelita and they've had this dress for years and years, um, you're probably going to have to order it. I probably have it in six colors myself personally. I love it. Um, I forgot to check the size I'm wearing, so I'm going to have to take it off. I think it's probably a medium, though. So this is a medium. In the Angelita dress, I, I feel like I wear a medium. I don't think I would feel comfortable in a small. So that just shows you how, how all over the place the sizing is. So the Angelita dress is, yeah, see, it goes a little bit lower here. Maybe I could, I think I've lost some weight. Um, so maybe I could wear a small. I think I used to be a medium. Um, but this is if I so then this is what it would look like if you got the wrong size and you went one size up. I still think it's quite wearable. Nobody's going to say that dress is too big on you. Um, but I could have gone one size smaller, I would say. But it's not going to make a difference. So that's good. So the Angelita dress has pockets right here and right here. It has a high low hemline. So at the front, I'm going to say it comes right above your knees at the back. It comes to about mid calf. Um, it's just, it's sleeveless with a, a, not like a low scoop, but a rounded neck. And it's A-line, so it, you can see it, it start, gets narrower and then it gets wider. And then it has this uh, ruffle just across the bottom. Uh, but the ruffle's not really poofy. I find that the ruffle just gives you texture because it's just like those other two tops, there's a lot of space in here for tummy and hips. Um, there's a lot of space in here for chest as well. So um, I hope that helps with the sizing. All the measurements are online. But if you're interested in the Angelita dress, this is what it looks like. Now, I usually pair my Angelita dress with, well, in the really hot summer, I just wear it just like that. But um, in kind of like the in-between seasons, I usually pair it with a pair of the Bryn Walker pants, which is what I'm gonna show you next. So these, are the Casba pants. So the Casba pants are really generous. Like you can see there's a lot of fabric through there. So if you have a bigger tummy or bigger hips, you're going to find that there's plenty of room for them. Now, um, what I've noticed is that if you have no tummy and no bottom, if, you've, if you're tiny through here and through here, you may find that there's just a little bit too much fabric in this and you might wanna opt for the Ella style, which I'm gonna show you. If however, you're a little bigger through here, through the hips and through the bum, there's lots of room for all of that to happen in here. Um, this is a size large. So for me, generally speaking, I'm one size bigger on the bottom than I am on the top because of my hips, my tummy and my bum. So in the size large, I'm just gonna try these on. Um, I'm going to show you what the design is like of these pants. So first of all, the elastic is really comfortable. 
Like I don't like that feeling of um, being restricted through here, especially if I'm going to be wearing these pants out to eat a meal or something, because my tummy, it expands and it bloats and it gets back to normal. And I don't like to have my elastics dig in. And what I find with the Bryn Walker is the elastics do not dig in. They're really, really comfortable elastics. Uh, the these pants, these Casma pants, also have pockets. Like again, you can see there's a lot of fabric going on there. So they have pockets here. They also have pockets down here. So I tried to position the camera so that you guys could see the bottom as well. The way that the, this is not a straight leg. The leg, like one leg will go like this. And then just down at the bottom, this side curves in. So this side stays straight. Let's see if I can do that again. Uh, so it's straight and then this side curves in slightly and then it ends. Um, so it narrows ever so slightly just when it gets to above the ankle and they do fall above the ankle. A lot of people are wearing these pants in the winter with boots. I hope you guys can see that. I can't see it because of uh, where the writing is at the bottom. Um, and I think you probably can. I was trying to think as I was driving here how I would describe the weight of the linen. So the summer weight linen if you were to think about a bag of potatoes and you know like the that paper that it comes in it's a really thick heavy paper that is what their uh, Bryn Walker's heavyweight linen is like it's quite substantial I would say that their summer weight linen is like a regular you know shopping bag if you went to the bay or if you went um, to a store and you got a paper bag with you know the little strip the handles on it that is the weight of their summer linen. It's not really, really light. Um, it, it does have some, some weight to it, which I think is why it falls so nicely. Um, it's not sheer. Their, their linens aren't sheer. So yes, you could definitely wear, if you got a darker color or um, a color that works for you for fall, you could definitely wear the Casma pants with a pair of boots. And just to show you um, how it would look, so I would probably, if I were going to wear this, I would probably take my top, drop it down just a little bit, and then put something like this with it. Um, it's just a really comfortable, casual pant. I don't know that you would want to tuck anything into it because I think this might feel a little like a bit much. Uh, but if you're somebody who covers at least to your hip line, uh, it works great. So there you go. Uh, okay, so there's only one more pair of pants I'm going to show you, and the last pair of pants is the Ella pant. So I'm not going to be, I will be getting the Casba pants in store. Um, I'm going to get them in three or four colors. I haven't decided which, but I definitely will have the Casba linen in store. So even if you don't order it, I should have some available. But the next style I'm going to show you, which is the Ella pant, I will not be getting in linen. So if you're interested in the Ella pant in linen, you're going to have to pre-order it because I'm going to be getting the Ella pant in the bamboo this year. So this is what the Ella pant looks like. Um, unlike the Casma pants, which have four pockets, the Ella pant has no pockets. Uh, the way that it works is it has a yoga waistband, so that's like super comfortable. And then each leg you can see kind of flares out. Can you guys see how it flares? Yeah, it, it does get slightly wider at the bottom than at the top. I wouldn't say that it's like a flare leg, but it, it is flared. Um, what else do you need to know? So in the Casba pants, I was wearing the large. In the Ella pants, I wear the medium. So here we go. Let's try this on again. So the Ella pants sit like this. And you know what's kind of cool about the Ella pants is that if you need it to be a little bit longer, you can always pull that down and then it gives you some extra length. I don't know if you can see that at the bottom. If you need them to be a little shorter, you can always fold this over and it allows you to shorten them. You can see they've kind of gone up by a few inches there. So these pants are really great if you want to be able to adjust the, the length of them without having to get them taken in. So these are the Ella pants, no pockets, and wider at the bottom. You can see that. Um, so that's what you can order. Uh, if you place the order online, what we do is we give you 20% off. Um, 
So that will happen automatically at checkout. If you have any questions, then contact us and we can help you through it and tell you what the experience of other customers has been um, who have your body size or body shape. And hopefully that will help. Um, as I said before, the only dress I haven't shown you is the free and e dress. And I would say, yeah, actually I would say this, hold on. The free and e dress is like a long version of the Fran top. It probably is almost identical. So, and it does get quite, like see how it's starting to get wider through here? It gets even wider. So um, it is, there's a lot of space down here. In, hi Margo. There's a lot of space down here in the free any dress, um, but it's a little bit more fitted through here. Uh, this is a size small in the Frianni and uh, sorry in the Fran and I felt like last year when I tried it on I was a medium maybe this year um, maybe I would be a small so maybe whatever you would wear in the Fran is what you would wear in the Frianni so I hope that helps um, I know for people who haven't ordered the Bryn Walker before it kind of might feel like overwhelming because you're like well how am I supposed to make any sense of that and I totally get that um, I just try to do this this pre-order for anybody who really wants a certain color and they're hard to get like if you if somebody if the store doesn't order that color you can't get it or if they do order an unusual color um, something that's not like a really safe bet for a store they're probably not going to get that many of them and you may not be able to get the one you like so if you know what size you take or um, I don't even think we have very many in store that I could get you to try on um, if you already know what size you take in the Bryn Walker, this is a great opportunity to get the colors you want. Um, if you don't know what size you take and you don't want to take a chance, it's probably best for you to wait until we get some in store. Maybe try to get a sense of what your sizing is like and then you can start getting a little more adventurous with colors next year when we do the pre-orders. So I think that's it. That's all I wanted to share with you about the Bryn Walker pre-orders. Um, it's live on the website now. I will be putting something on the front page of the website, but for now, uh, if you go into the menu on the side, I think it's like the second or third thing and it says linen pre-order. Um, let us know if you have any questions about any of it. I did it, I sorted it on the website by Fabric Swatch. So where did I put this? So the way it is on the website is you would see, let's say, upside down again, you would see this color as just a square. And then when you go into that color, which is Daylily, you'll see that you can choose any of the styles, the um, Huxley tank, the Fran top, the Casba pants, the Ella pants, the Angelita dress and the Freeney dress. So there's six options. Uh, once you've picked your color fabric, um, you can choose any of the six clothing styles and the size. Um, so, Basically, this is how many products there are in the pre-order um, and it's done by color and then each color has the styles. So instead of doing it by style, we did it by color. And then later when we actually get our things in store, we do it by style, which is just confusing. I know, um, but that's it. That's what I wanted to share with you. These are the Bryn Walker pre-order colors and they're very exciting. For those of you who joined late, I did go through every single one and kind of describe what the color looks like. So I really hope that helps you. Um, I think I'm done. And uh, if you are still around in about 10 minutes, um, I encourage you to join me on a very brief chat kind of a live with uh, Shafali and Mira. It's the beginning of a new segment that we're gonna be doing called um, Play By Your Own Rules. So if you're around, I would love to see you then. If you have any questions, we would love to hear from you. Have a great evening. See you soon.